pretty cool. Dude, you had you were bombed about the tournament, huh? Yeah. That I've was never really been more sad about melee in my entire life. That's so interesting. I've been dissect I've been thinking about it nonstop. I've been dissecting why it upset me so much. Have I you- mean, not even upset. I wouldn't even say upset. I'm just sad. I yeah, I was hanging out with Aiden after and he was so bummed. At, like literally someone came up to me one of the very few cringe interactions which aiden was front and center for and it was really wild and weird and it like basically told this guy to get the fuck out of my face and then aiden was just like dead face just like yeah i don't know that was weird (laughs) it it was weird (laughs) and i was like i was like are you okay and he's like yeah i'm really bummed about the tournament and i was like oh no he was so bummed he left his apple watch behind i hugged him and i was like it's okay man do you know what happened to you yeah, uh, I, well, I, I think I know why I'm sad now. Like dash, I, dash dance dare. I, the, I, gotta say I think the, the sets are the sets were fine. Like, I, I don't even I think the Yingling set I was more frustrated by because I actually felt like I played pretty relaxed and like pretty good. Um, just like maybe a little late. Like I like game one. I just messed something easy up at the right at the end. And I'm I, it's like a three stock comeback. And then the last game, I, my game winning combo doesn't hit because of the transformation. <laughs> like literally. Yeah. So also, I, the I, one setup we play on yeah. for stream has transformation. So that, that is a Ludwig and, tournament. And it's not like he played. Why it's not up? like he didn't earn it or something. It was more just like that's I think playing good and then losing that way is more frustrating. Whereas on the next set, I felt really like lost. And I it wasn't like it was like it wasn't like, oh, I fixed that thing. And then I would have won. So why did the king take you to the tattered edge of your emotions? What mm. what made you so sad about, about losing this tournament? Oh, what about my rule? Oh. <laughs> what about my reign? Dude, I lost to Nick Allen. I don't have to feel bad about shit. <laughs> I got a reality that, check way that, early. Okay, I thought about that a lot after. I got a reality check I way early. I thought about that the most after. <laughs> you're you're the only person in the world who has beaten Graves and lost to Nick Allen. I, I literally said, last, last Genesis, you beat Zell, who's a good peach. And then you will lost to Wait, Nick Wait, I did? I'm pretty Zeta? sure. Zeta? Zeta? No, sorry, not Zell. Sorry, Z- uh, uh, Zila. Z- oh, yeah. No, I didn't. That's how you made it did out. I? Isn't that how you made it out? I or, mean, oh. Paz. Well, yeah, I did oh. beat a Peach before Paz. Or no, wait, no, I think I played Zilla. Oh. But you've beaten him before, and you've beaten good Peaches. Dude, that's like, bring funny. up your own flex? He did. No, no I lost to Zilla. I did. I, I don't bl- have flex. I don't want to talk about I that. I think I did beat a Peach and then played Paz you've beat, My point is, Peach used to be your best matchup. You've beaten good Peaches constantly. Nick and, Allen's goat. You, <laughs> Nick Allen's great. <laughs> Nick Allen's just a He's a 47 year old man. Right, solid play. <laughs> Come on. He, yeah. he grinds Slippy every night after he tells his two sweet kids in bed. Is that your first loss to someone with a kid? <laughs> no. Uh, Mango has a kid. I've no, never in played Mango in tournament. Mango mm-hmm. tournament. I don't know. That's a really good question. Oof. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it, look, yes, it is my first loss to someone who remembers a, a war between the worlds. Yes. <laughs> but <laughs> other, other than that, you know, he, he played a fucking great game. He, I also teamed with XX Girlfriend, who has made our, our jingle and stuff and done a lot of cool work. Because they wanted, they were like, hey, are you teaming a Genesis? Like, yeah, sure. Uh, disappointed them, for sure. They are so much better than Nick Allen. Like an insane peach player, uh. So I don't know. I got humbled, but it what it was good because I got mad, got over it real quick. You were in the Genjutsu, and I want to hear about your Genjutsu. I, I, I think it's because you, like the three of you collectively, I would say, do not care very much anymore. Like you guys, you you do care a lot, but you never play. And you're I think you're right. You, no, I believe you're, you're right. And and I think I care i think i care a lot and this last year specifically i think i can see a lot of like notable progress for me and like in the build-up to this tournament um i would like to have like nobody even like recognize that i think i could win it it was like every single conversation is like nobody nobody wanted to seed me one nobody even though like i i was like Dude, look at like results, wins, like a rank. It's like on paper, it's like I definitely deserved it, and I will stand by that. And then I put you in my top three every time. You put me third though. It's like I, that's that's what I'm saying. It's like I think I have all these things going for me this year, where I felt like really comfortable and confident about how I had improved. And I think throughout my like melee journey and like building up to this like event in my head, no one really like no one said that I would win it. And like I so I'm the only person who like builds up expectations for myself and like believes that I can win it and believes that I can do well. 
and that all like the work it's not I, I don't have like the most like structured practice reg regime but i can see myself improving and like doing better and like when i am relaxed and like playing well i think i perform really well now like i'm starting to like get to a point where i'm proud of myself when i see how i i, I play and like when i play my best so like in this moment where i have all these expectations for myself to finally like prove myself and like and and be i think like recognized like not only to like the people around me but like prove to myself in this like moment in time that we like probably will never have again uh no don't say that that i that i don't think that i it won't be the same if we do it again and uh, that that i am the best Why do you or say i that? can because nick best. will be using a scepter and have a cape and not entering <laughs> oh, i'm confused i'm confused what nah, don't Why spoil it we'll again. <laughs> I've, I've thought about this a lot i'll spoil that part uh <laughs> Or at least that's how it felt. Because like Nick is always talking about how he doesn't play anymore and he doesn't care. And that's not that's so. Wait, you can't take a crack because you and, can't take a crack at the king. And yeah, and I, I think like that's even like with Yingling, true. even with Yingling, there's like kind of this underlying idea that I I <clears throat> will play Yingling again, like maybe next week, because Yingling plays. And it's like, but for Nick, it's like this is my one chance to like really prove it. Because from here on out, like it's he's not gonna play any you're not gonna play anymore and i huh. am going to like and if i actually do get really good then it, i have to do it like by by beating like other people where it's like so blatantly true and that's like a much longer journey that i think i've, I've been thinking about a lot but my, my point being okay. is like okay. I, I see myself and i think it is demonstrated through the way that everybody talks about how i play melee and how and what they expect of me that like nobody believes in me except me in the context of melee. So when I lost, I let myself down and it's actually really hard to I'm sorry. <laughs> You're right, bud. I love you. I'm pro aiming. I always hear bark and that aim and win. But I think uh you wanna <laughs> take a minute. I'm not like mad at anybody, you know. Yeah, I think it's fine. And I know it's really stupid because it's just like the company tournament. Oh, I think I think it's more internal. I don't think it's about the company tournament. I think it's just like, I get it. This is, I mean, the, the, the I don't know if you remember, I talked about the Orange County Arcadian. I was like the third seed for that. And I got 13th and I fucking cried. I was like, that's the saddest I've ever been. I totally understand how that feels. This is a sweet thought, but you have a fucking dumb crown on. And you got to recognize <laughs> no, I can't I mean, do anything. I mean, I'm right. frozen in time. I, 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 I'm frozen in time. I, I think it's the same thing. King, I, the king. I think it's the same thing. Like, I just, I lost and I've never. I've never felt that way before because I think so many of the things that like bug me about Melee or that I get frustrated with myself about, I was like really trying to like work through and like be confident. And like, I, I think the whole time while I played, it's like I used to give up a lot and the whole time I believed in myself the whole time. So it's like all this tension and then it just breaks and it's over and you have no way to like redeem or like make up for it. And uh, that's just hard. Yeah, I think that you're thinking, I think you have a lot of valid points. I think you're thinking short term, though. And I think this tournament's not your only chance to prove yourself. And I think, like, like a good example is, like, okay, Thanksgiving money match, me versus you. Like, I'd bring that up. But the reason I bring that up is because I have no future and hope to improve and be better. So it's like, let me hold on to this one meme. And in this reality, which I don't know if is fully true, where Nick pivots from gaming because a lot of his self-worth is in gaming and he moves it to other things to improve at them or whatever, and he doesn't game anymore uh that like it doesn't matter that you don't get the win over nick because you will go on like one two five years down the road being better than all of us in this like unattainable way i think i i maybe i was that i i i i appreciate that and i thought i thought about that a lot i I've, i'm telling you uh it's all i've thought about for like the last like two days because i i just like i was like if i'm gonna feel like this i i think a big part of what what made it hit so hard too is I've actually been enjoying playing more than I ever have in like the last month. I'm having like more fun playing the game than I than in like many years. And I I I and I when I felt like this, I, I felt more sad than I ever have been playing ever. And I I realized like if I need to uh if I if I'm going to feel like this in this moment, then I need to try like i need to i need to put way more effort into this thing that makes me feel this way otherwise it's not worth it like i should quit if 
I am not willing to put in like the the work and the effort to like improve this part of my life that is so important to me. And uh, so I'm going to I'm going to try to do that. I'm not going to like go full time melee or something like that. Like I don't want to be a professional player, but I think like there's no point in like half assing something and like just like spamming ranked with no thought and like brute forcing improvement uh, over like a long period of time. If like that's going to be my emotional attachment to the game and uh, try to enjoy like and try to like keep enjoying playing the game because I've been having so much fun. Uh, but anyway, I, I, I think that's like my synthesized version of like what's been swelling around in my head. Cause I, and I was really happy for Nick. I thought the way at, for people that watch the tournament and you can go back and watch it, this fucking insane grand finals is like probably yeah, the coolest way it could have fucking ended. And I was really happy like for that. Like it's, it's not that it was, uh, you know, I wasn't like mad at anybody. I think I was just really, really disappointed in myself and I needed to spend a lot of time thinking about why I felt that way. I think it's good that your outcome is I want to play more and take it more seriously. And I think that means in two years, you'll be at a place that none of us can reach because you care so much. Um, and, and like for me and slime, I think we just compartmentalize like, ah, we haven't been playing much. It's all oh, right. It's, it's so right easy. To... It's so easy to be like, yeah, well, what can I say? I'm not, I'm not what I used to be. And even what I used to be wasn't too good. And it's like, and it's like, it's like, Hey, but what I did to Yan that one time in yeah, a dark alley, it's all we had. That's never... all we got. Right. That is, it actually is. <laughs> and so it's like, but that also means we'll never reach a level of greatness where we can become like emotionally vulnerable about a win or a loss because we'll never get those wins or losses because we've never put the time and love into it. Yeah, that's also why, like, I in my head, it's always it's always free game to like talk shit because it's like it, it's like I'm it's like I'm a five zip guy at the bar. <laughs> I'm like, zip. yeah, fuck you, bro, fuck you. Yeah, they're all like, like six three. <laughs> yeah, it's they're like full heads of hair. Yeah, it's like, what are you gonna do? Yeah, it's, it's like a five zero guy. It's like you're five eight five nine. And you're like, fuck you, Just dude. The fuck fuck up. <laughs> It's like, so I've always thought of it, it's like, yeah, if I make fun of Aiden, which I only do now because he plays Sheik, which I think is fair. Uh, <laughs> I stand by that. Stand by that. Uh, I, that's I, also I, all we got. <laughs> is I, I, when I do that, it's, it's, it's also saying, I am the five zip guy making fun of someone who could actually absolutely clobber me. So what I say doesn't have any weight. And that's how I like rationalize being uh, toxic sometimes, which isn't right. Um, but that, I'm, I'm explaining my, like how that comes to be. Ludwig's a much nicer person, so it only comes out when he talks about the near rest, which is... Uh, I don't un- talk about it specifically. I don't bring that up specifically. I just, <laughs> I just bring up a six-month period of time. People bring up the where six was... months where, where we went entered World War I. <laughs> I like imagine, a different time in history. Can you imagine making that bet indefinitely, like forever? And then if I did become good, like two years from now, like yeah, if I'm, I'm, if I'm fighting for top sixty four at some major, and Ludwig and Ludwig's like, I'm still better. Than That's guy. what it is. Don't know, but you don't understand. Me beating Graves is my that, right? Like no matter, I like I lost to Mikey at this tournament. But I always beat Graves because he played really bad one day. <laughs> and it's like, and so, so I think it's, it's all losers mentality is the end game point though. Like yeah, I don't think yeah, me yeah, and slime. Yeah. I'm not. We're not doing good things by being the way we are. And if Nick eight months from now is like still holding the scepter and pointing to the mural, being like, <laughs> "Yep, that's me. I did that." Then he also will never. I think continue to develop in a way that you seem to desire. That's I I think that was the thing I think I needed to like, I I've been trying to think about and like, uh, and I think I'm starting to let go of today is I think that it was, it was this idea that like Nick is like this person who is like always outpacing me in like in like games or competition or like, I always feel like Nick is just a, a little bit better than me at like yeah, everything at like everything we this, do. This crown's getting, and so, up. Up. <laughs> the knaves are talking. <laughs> and I think, I think that's just like, it's, the knaves it's, think we don't get enough actually. <laughs> <laughs> hold on, we hold on. Right. Right. The king. <laughs> the porridge is playing. Yeah, yeah, we hate building fences. We hate it. We're, yeah. We like Zipper. fence day. No, fence day is fun. Fun. Come taste my food before yeah. I eat it. That way, the food's good. You eat it all. <laughs> but uh and 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 also i think nick nick uh Im- improves or or gets good at things at like a in, in in a quick way right so when and so when nick like disengages from something and is no longer pursuing that anymore like if you stop playing like valorant if you stop playing uh melee that like goal of like of beating you because i think that's like for a long time i think the way i've like developed goals around me is like people within proximity of me to like 
push mm-hmm. myself every like a close the next step is always like some some guy to lock on to who's a little better and like nick is just perpetually better than me at like uh, what i i what i feel like everything so it's like I'm, and i'm always like pushing myself and not even in a bad way but i'm like i i think i'm pushing myself and like chasing um that and melee is the most like dramatic example of that so when you like I, when you like don't stop competing or you have stopped competing, basically, there's no chance to like prove myself again. There's no like there's no like second run at, at Goliath. It's just yeah, over. But what you don't I mean, what you're not seeing is that when you're at a point where like like your your journey is not to beat Nick. It's just to be better. Right? No, I, I once agree. You're at that spot, I agree. Like, I've you're been not going to care. But I've been you care thinking right about now. I've been thinking about that. That's uh, that's what I was thinking about is like. Well, what would like beating Nick like actually mean if like my my goal and, and like in the context of me enjoying this game in a more full way and want to like improve and feeling like even in the worst feeling ever on that day, wanting to sit back down and like keep playing with other people. Um, I was like, OK, well, it doesn't really matter if I beat Nick or lost to Nick because like two years from now, it's not about it has nothing to do with beating Nick. It has nothing to do with losing to Nick. It just has to do with like getting better at this thing that I love dumping time into. So 